Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. We're playing a little bit more of Marvel Heroes Omega. So, yeah, one last thing to do with Marvel Heroes Omega before the end of this week is this. The Marvelous Women's of Marvel box. I can't remember what they're actually called again. Uh, what did they actually call them whenever they put them into the patch notes? Uh, the Mighty Woman, yeah, Mighty Woman loot box. So, this will be my second batch of Marvel uh, Mighty Woman loot boxes because I recorded a first batch had a great drop rate. I think it was like seven costumes in the 25 that I had done. And literally at the last second of the video, uh, I ran out of hard drive space and corrupted the whole damn recording. So I just got annoyed and just went, right, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to worry about those boxes now. But I thought, right, I, 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 I deserve, like I've done each of the boxes so far and I need to do at least a, a drop rates to show so that we keep a record of actually what the drop rates have been by Gazillion on each of these game, each of these kind of like uh, design boxes. And since this is the last day you can do these boxes, I thought, right, let's take one last stab at it. Um, I've already got all the costumes I really wanted. I wanted American Dream. Um, there's a lot of other costumes that I already had, like uh, Mighty Th the Lady Thor costume, because I bought them before this box existed. So the only costume that I really wanted that I didn't already have was in that box that I got or in those seven one of those seven boxes that I actually got so we're going to this is going to be very much a just a Marvel Assassin's Marvel Assassin's Marvel Assassin's drop list if we get the same drop rates that we did at the beginning of this campaign so we're going to do 25 as usual god I always hit this I hit this so much oh five ten fifteen twenty twenty five Ooh, that never feels good. It'll never, it'll never ever feel safe or good in any way, shape, or form. Do we have enough box space? Uh, 70, 80, 90. No, we need to actually drop some stuff here. Ugh. Perpetually dropping stuff into boxes. This is the only problem about having storage. Uh, boom, boom, boom. No, no, there's nothing I can actually drop here. Wow, I'm really getting way too much stuff in here. Um, yeah, I can. No, those are cosmic rings. Yeah, generally I will drop the Trials of Cosmic Rings in because I'm not going to use them just yet. So move to storage. Move to storage. Um, I need another, what, three spaces? <laughs> Alright, there's there's got to be ones in here that are actually hooked to somebody. Yeah, so you go in there. And nothing else is locked to a person, is it? No, it is not. Uh, does that count as pocket spaces? Yeah? Yes, it does. All right, cool. Get rid of these flourishes. I don't need any of those in my pockets. Right, so we've got enough now. We've got enough space. Uh, we can go across here and... Oh, what? Ah. I haven't actually taken my eternity splinters for a while either. Retrieve all. Right. Uh, first, I'll open my eternity splinters just because I can. But... Boom. Boom. Those are from the VIP, by the way. If anybody's not realizing why I get five Eternity Splinters for nothing at the maybe as soon as I log in. Uh, every day that you log in, you get uh, five Eternity Splinters if you've already bought anything from the game and made yourself into a VIP account. So let's see what we got in the boxes. All right, we have 25 of these, all sitting there, ready to roll. Let's try this out. <clears throat> box number one for the Mighty Woman loot box of the 25. What do we got? It's two Eternity Splinters, ten Legendary Marks, four Marvelous Essence, Enhanced Genome, and a Random Hero Ultimate Gift. So, uh, got something else to open up afterwards. That isn't brilliant. Two Eternity Splinters, ten Legendary Marks, four Marvelous Essence. That's not great drops. Well, of course, you're not going to get a best drop on every single box, but um, like I said, the ratio that we want to beat is seven, seven out of 25, I think it was in the last batch, before it all corrupted on me. So, um, let's see what we got. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, and Astral Essence, a Matrix of Unbinding! And two Experience Boosts. Experience Boosts, always like them, glad to have them, help me get me through all my characters. Um, I'm thinking I'm at the point now where I've maxed out my um, bonus because I've done over 10, um, I've done 10 uh, characters up to 60. Matrix of Unbinding, I have no idea how many of those we have now, I need to go into the box and check. I'm pretty sure, it does, I want to know if there's a maximum stack of Matrix of Unbinding, concerned how many I've fucking gotten over the last uh, few boxes, sets of boxes. Let's go into the next box here because that wasn't a great box. Number three. 
Two Eternity Splinters, 10 Legendary Marks, 4 Marvelous Essence, Unstable Molecules, and a chest for 15 Marvelous Essence. So we just got a one of the regular costumes. Um, could be anything from Jean Grey 1990s to uh, Storm in her white costume. Um, I, I don't know what one that was. I think that was Astonishing X-Men, was it? That uh, white costume. It looks awesome. I, lo I actually love it on the character. But um, just like, not a, not a, a cosmic costume or an enhanced one. So that's one costume drop out of three. That's our three boxes and one costume drop. All right, let, let's keep that ratio going. Five Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, a Falcon spray paint, chest of 15 Marvelous Essence, so another costume. Uh, so that's two, not too bad. Relics of Subterranea, I'm liking getting relics. I always enjoy getting relics because I need ones for each of my characters. Subterranea isn't a bad one. I think that might take me over the top for another full relic. And uh, yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all, Steve. Two costumes out of four. And 25 Marvelous Essence. Ooh, nice. And four Marvelous Essence. And Winter Soldier Spray Paint. And an Astral Essence. And a large character experience token for Captain America. That's not too bad. Um, I went through all my experience tokens to try and clear up some space out of my storage. And most of the characters I have that weren't already at level 5 or 10 or whatever... Large experience token drops you right up to like 15 or essentially, if, especially if you've got boosts on. I think I don't know if the experience tokens are affected by boosts, but um, I wouldn't open them, I wouldn't use them unless I was using the boosts anyway. So, but uh, yeah, no experience token, happy days. It'll mean I have less time spent by a max under character, and that's a nice drop for a marvelous essence 29 marvelous essence in the one box as well. Not too bad, that's actually a pretty decent one. That's, a, that's decent for even just being a box. Four marvelous essence. A War Machine spray paint, a credit chest of absolute no worth. Well, that's not the worst one. Ten, uh, no, 10,000 is the worst one. That is the worst one you can get, or is it 5,000? Yeah. Large character experience token for Captain Marvel. And a chest of 15 Marvel's essence. So that's, what, that's, wow, that's four costumes in, five, in six chests? Damn! Four costumes in six chests, even though they're all, they're no cosmic chest, no cosmic costumes yet, but four costumes in six chests. Alright, well, we get back to it? that'd be nice if we actually got into something else, tonight. that'd be good. Um, and then another one here. 25 Marvelous Essence. 4 Marvelous Essence. A the shittiest credit chest. A not so shitty credit chest. And a large character experience token for Star-Lord. Uh, well, that's actually good. I, I haven't played Star-Lord yet myself at all, so that'll help. I'll get him up to level 10. But um, it's it's a it's <laughs> it's pleasure and pain because that's a garbage credit chest and twenty nine marvelous essence as well. So uh, is that a good is that a good credit or is that like it's just whatever you get those kind of like crappy chests credit chests. I'd almost prefer mats. I prefer high level mats because they cost about five grand a pop anyway. Or marvelous essence, a minor experience boost. Five unstable molecules and a random gift, and of course a shield supply drop um, booster as well. So uh, all the gifts got another one of those to open up later on. Minor experience boost always appreciated. Uh, four marvelous essence, not a not a bad chest, not a brilliant chest. Um, always I'm happy to get boosts. So on to the next one. So what we're already setting at four costumes for six boxes. So so uh, we're four costumes for uh, near enough ten boxes now. Five legendary marks, four marvelous essence, a minor experience boost, a matrix of unmining, and a matrix of unmining. <laughs> Can't stand these fucking things. Okay, like I said, we'll see how many we got stacked at the end, but um, yeah, minor experience boost, that was the only thing of real worth to me on that. Yeah, that wasn't cool, but we'll see what we got. Oh, Marvelous Essence, a minor, small experience token for a small man, for Ant-Man. A credit chest of garbageness, a matrix of unbinding, a chest of 15 Marvelous Essence. So that's five costumes, uh, five regular costumes um, that are actually inside this pack. I, I, to be honest, at five, I'm, like, there has to be doubles here now already, even of the regular costumes, because I think there only is six regular costumes in the whole special uh, Mighty Woman's boxes, and I've got all of them from uh, owning the characters and stuff, so that's not too bad, but uh, we were at what, was that five or six? We're on five. Five, yes. So five, five and ten. So literally a one and two chance of, uh, a 50% chance of getting a regular costume so far. That's not too bad. I really wouldn't mind seeing one of the Cosmics pop up in this, but um, 
Uh, like I said, there's none that I'm actually waiting for for my uh, to, to, that I don't already own. So it's a it, it's kind of anticlimactic in this, but I mean, still the count's pretty good. Five and ten. Two internal splinters, four marvelous essence, a shitty ass credit chest, and a random ultimate gift, and a random ultimate gift. <laughs> Alright, so that's um, more ultimate gifts, more ultimate tokens, that'll max out, like, by at this point now, I'm curious to know which ones will be inside those, so there'll be a whole separate, there'll be an unboxing we'll do at the end of this. Five legendary marks, ten eternity splinters, four marvelous essence, a small character experience token for Iron Man, and a chest of, is that a chest of 30 marvelous essence? So that is a higher quality, yeah, so, so this is, that one must be an, uh, a rare costume we got, so we've got five, five normals, and one rare, so we've got six all together. So, uh, so six costumes, Grant. That's a six costume drop so far in the batch. That's actually a lot. That's a lot, man. War Marvelous Essence, Vulture Wings, Flourish, Five Cosmic Fragments, Matrix of Unbinding, Matrix of Unbinding. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I really don't like those. That's not a great credit chest in any way, shape, or form. Cosmic Fragments, always useful to have, but uh, Mission of Unbindings can eat my ass. Right. Five Legendary Marks, four Marvelous Essence, a small character experience token for Colossus, a large character experience token for Black Widow, and a chest of 15 Marvelous Essence. So that is six. So we're at seven. So, so at this point where we have 11 boxes left, is that, or, wait, what? We have 11 boxes left, and we've already hit the mark of how many costumes I got in the previous batch. Admittedly, there was more Cosmics in the last batch, but uh, that's still that's still a pretty decent drop rate on costumes, even if there are regulars. Um, but that amount of Marvel's Essence, we have to do a total up after we finish this, because I don't you know what we should do. I mean, that's all I need to mark in the future, because I don't really check how much Marvel Essence I had before, but I'll always check it from now onwards in our next batch of boxes, because... That's actually like that. That's that's a lot of marvelous essence so far. So because it's uh, six fifteens and a thirty. Two extra, uh, and then also like a couple of those boxes had twenty nine in them. Uh, two attorney splinters, four marvelous essence, a crappy credit chest, a ultimate gift, and twenty relics of Subterranea. That's forty altogether for Subterranea in this one set of boxes. Um, yeah, okay, okay, I I I, I can accept that. Fuck that credit chest though. Always fuck those credit chests. Oh, Marvelous Essence, a shittiest in the world credit chest, an experience boost, a ultimate gift, and another costume, and another regular costume. So literally, in this batch, unless there was doubles the entire time, we went, we got every single regular costume there is, so that's seven 15s and a 30. Um, yeah, fair play. That's actually, that's good, that's good drop rates for the regular costumes. Um, <clears throat> I imagine... Cosmics are going to be obviously always harder to find in these, but uh, that's still a lot of costumes. Two Attorney Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, uh, five Unstable Molecules, Matrix of Unbinding! Matrix of Unbinding! I would rather they just stack these fucking things now at this point instead of giving me two separate ones right next to each other. They can eat my ass, fuck that. Um, four Marvelous Essence, yeah. So what do you do? <laughs> what else is there to do with that other than say, fuck the Matrix of Unbinding? Um, it costumes. It costumes in twenty-five. Not too bad. Four marvelous essence. A small character experience token for Moon Knight. A currency boost. A ultimate gift and a shield supply boost. Boosts are always welcome. Um, I'm actually needing more currency and shield ones anyway. More actually need more currency ones specifically. Got plenty of uh, experience token ones or co uh, combos. Give me the combos. Where is it? Where where are my combo ones? I haven't seen a single combo. In, I don't think I've seen a single combo in the both batches of these that I've done, so they're a rare drop for it. And of course, Moon Knight, a character I haven't played in with yet, but was the first costume I unlocked via crates. It was um, Mo the, the jacketless Moon Knight, or Mr. Knight, or Mr. Moon. I can't remember. Just, good night, Mr. Moon. Uh, the jacketless version of Moon Knight for his alternate costume of Mr. Knight. Uh, that's the, that's the, well, the first costume I ever got in Marvel Heroes Omega. I still haven't played as a character. <laughs> Two Eternity Splinters, 25 Marvelous Essence, 4 Marvelous Essence, 5 Unstable Molecules, and 5 Ultimate Power Upgrades for anybody? That's not bad. 5 of those. That's a good stack. I, getting those in a stack are always nice because I've got a, I've got enough now that I can max out like 
two characters of the unbranded ones. But um, they, just for the fact that if you if you get, if you got a main and you got an alt that you can just want to drop these into, to just make them un, like make their ultimate fucking vicious. I mean, like I. I'm at the point now where I'm sitting going like, I'm probably ready for Cosmic for at least three characters just by using my ultimate on the bosses. Alright, let's see here. What else we got? What else in our Mighty Woman loot boxes? Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvel Assassins, Nanotech Filament, a large character experience token for Deadpool, and a combination boost! <laughs> Literally, after saying they're a rare drop, I hadn't seen them in like 50 boxes. Well, uh, 30... Uh, 30... Well, 45. Um, yeah. Combination boost finally arrives. It'd be nice to get more of those. Uh, give me a stack of five of those in the next one. Go on ahead. Go on. Just you know, just give me a stack of five. Be nice. So we're down to our last four boxes. We're doing the countdown now. Four marvelous essence. A Spider-Man logo flourish. A shitty as fuck credit chest and a chest of fifty marvelous essence. So therefore, we had another costume. So that's uh, oh god. We're actually on eight fifteen, eight regular costumes and one rare costume. So eight fifteens and one thirty. And a large character experience token for Thor. I think I have max. Oh, I don't have Thor maxed out. That, 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 this might help me get over the the last couple of levels for Thor for Lady Thor because I was playing through over. Um, we're down to we're not not too bad. So we're actually what on nine costumes, nine costumes and twenty five, almost like a, like a 40, 42 percent drop rate on costumes. Not a single cosmic yet, but just um, the uh, the regulars. Four Marvelous Essence, a Luke Cage Flourish, a shitty as fuck chest, an ultimate gift, and another ultimate gift. We're going to have to open those afterwards to find out, but that wasn't that. That's not a brilliant, that's not a brilliant crate at all. I mean, a bit anticlimactic for the last few ones, but it, it tends to be like that. You can't, you can't expect the last one to be the best one. Two Eternity Splinters, ten Legendary Marks, four Marvelous Essence, a Currency Boost, and a large character experience token for Captain America. Which will be helpful because I, I, I'm, I'm not I'm, I not dislike Captain America's playthrough, but I actually I'm, I want to play as American Dream comfortably from the beginning of the story all the way through rather than actually be worrying about leveling up. It shouldn't take too long anyway. I've, I've found some techniques that'll really help. Four Marvelous Essence, Minor Experience Boost, a Credit Chest for 10,000, a Combination Boost, woo! Oh, and man, another chest for 15 Marvelous Essence. Time. So we've got one chest there. left and we're at 10. Yes, so 9 15s and one thirty. so that is 10 costumes out of 25, really good drop rates for costumes, no cosmics yet, could we get a cosmic in our last box, the last one we have left? Oh god, it's actually always, it, it, the gamblingness, the rng of this, uh, they're right, hang on, quick, quick, uh, quick prayer to RNG Jesus, or RNG Jesus, what have we got? Oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> Costume that I didn't already have in the last one. Yes, awesome. Right, so um, I'm actually playing as uh, Wiccan, uh, so the um, the uh, enhanced version of Scarlet Witch, but I didn't already have Scarlet Witch Age of Ultron costume. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think a, I don't think the Age of Ultron, Age of Ultron costume is just a 75 one. It's not a, a rare costume by any stretch, but it's nice to get one right at the end. Awesome. So Scarlet Witch Age of Ultron movie. Uh, let's see if I can read this. In Avengers Age of Ultron, the world finds itself under siege by the nefarious Ultron. In comes the mysterious Scarlet Witch. Is she an enemy, or is there more to her goals than the Avengers imagine? <laughs> Fair enough. The flavor test is pretty good. Um, I like the I like the Age of Ultron costume for Scarlet Witch. Um, probably not going to play as it. I'm going to play as Wiccan because I went and bought the enhanced one. But um, Scarlet Witch Age of Ultron. Nice to get nice to get a costume at the last minute. Uh, four Marvel's Essence, a lightweight armor plate, a nanotech filament, and another costume! Sweet! So two cost two costumes in one box? No! No! That's... that's... what? What? Two costumes in one box? Does that often... does that happen? I am so very weirded out by that! Right. So yeah, there was a regular costume in there as well. Fifteen Marvelous Essence for a regular costume, and a so the, so literally it ended up in the last box. We jumped. It was a what ten, twelve. So twelve costumes to twenty five. Literally about forty eight percent, a forty eight percent drop rate of costumes in uh, twenty five boxes. I said, there, this has to be. This has to be because it's the last day. 
That has to be. Like, I mean, well, whenever I did, the thing is, I got more cosmics back whenever it started off, and I got all of the ones that I wanted, and that was like seven boxes or seven seven costumes and a twenty five drop, and this was twelve costumes and a twenty five drop, but all of them, all of them except for the one rare, were heroic tier, um, and then I got two in one one in my last box. That's crazy, right? So, yeah. Scarlet Witch, Age of Ultron movie costume, and another regular costume in that last box. Wow! Okay. Okay, I'm on board with that. I'm on board with that. So, yeah, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those there. Um, and then uh, all the rest of the stuff. That's actually all the place. And our pockets are full, so we need to, we need to hit the, the, sh the, the storage space here and get some of these stored away. So we'll cra store the crafting first. Um, move to storage. Let's yes, move to storage. Move all you to storage. All those credit chests, all those materials, mats, and stuff, and anything. Uh, misc, we have so many of those. Oh, I've got these to get rid of as well. Turny smother bloody things. But yeah, stack of five of those, and then these char character experience tokens. Ah, uh, so manys. All the manys. So many things. Uh, let's drop those into storage as well. So the combination boost, currency boost, experience boost, and the minor experience boosts. Okay, um, and the relics, yeah, of course, are listed there. So, any of those that we got maxed out to 100, have we? No, no, okay, that's not, well, that's that's kind of surprising, but, yeah. We've got, uh, we've got 11 spaces, so do we have, we need more than 11 spaces. We need more than 11 spaces just for the fact that we have that many goddamn essence chests. So, um, yeah, let's, let, let's just take the first batch of these. Anyway. I know enough about hoarders to know that I don't want to be one. <laughs> like that's a, it wasn't even enough to open to grab all of the essence chests. Oh, man. Okay, so we'll need to open up these and get these out of the way here. Um, no, we don't want to use those. Um, so, one... Oh, that was what I should have done. Right, how much Marvelous Essence do I have before I start? Because I, I added 15 there, plus there was a, every single one that I got from the boxes, the 29s and the uh, 4s. So at this point, I'm on 1,000. Was it 1,800? Was it 1,866 marvelous essence? Um, is that one eight or one nine? Can I even bloody tell property with the the text for some reason? Just whenever I look at this, is, it, I don't think I have dyslexia, but it's making it jump around for some reason. Uh, one eight six six. So um, yeah, that's I, I need I need to spend some of that marvelous essence and the. D D. Uh, okay, I need to jump in and store some of those things. Uh, you, 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 and you, and uh, well, well, we'll trade you guys in in a second. And you. Oh, crafting materials. Yeah, that's right. Put those in as well. Oh, you teleported all over the place. All right, uh, where is the logistics? Science. There we go. Is that logistics. I can personally vouch for everything you right. see here. I'm just going to get rid of these um, delivery reports because all they do, all I use them for is for donation things. And they means you get a thousand k every day just for uh, receiving stuff. All right, boop, boop, boop. Back in here, and we hit the retrieve all, and yeah, we can fit everything in there now. Happy days. So. Uh, get the drop-offs, no more craftings go in there, consumables go in, got a combination boost to go in there, anything goes in there, uh, we have a character experience token, not character experience token, character experience token. So we're going to open up these uh, ultimate gifts while I just talk about the drop rates and what's coming next for Marvel Heroes Omega because this, since this is the last day of the Marvel uh, Mighty Woman's boxes, we have a new box coming in, literally tomorrow, and it's to celebrate the Defenders! Woo! The new TV series on Netflix. Uh, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, uh, Daredevil, and Iron Fist. Now, as far as I know, is Iron Fist as a character, or is it Iron Fist costume that's locked from buying the other stuff? I think Iron Fist was a locked character rather than a locked costume. But, um, yeah, I'm assuming he's going to be uh, no, no longer an exclusive whenever this comes out. And uh, there'll be extra costume for Daredevil and for uh, there's a possibility that they're going to put they're going to put Elektra in with the Dare the Defender stuff. So there could be a new character pack to pick up as well, which will have her Elektra's original costumes. And it'll be the first of the villains 
to arrive as playable characters in the game, which is going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that. Um, Electro, though, uh, she's going to be a uh, she's going to be very uh, Black Widowy in the, the way that she's going to play. I imagine a mixture of Black Widow and Black Cat, uh, probably with like stealthy ninja kind of stuff. I wonder what her traversal is going to be, though. I'm trying to figure out will, will she be like Daredevil and Spidey and Black Cat just swinging around. Uh, ba -ba. Have I got everything I need? Yep, I got everything I need. And say, uh, see, if you saw the Marvel Marvel's Earth boxes, those are the ones from the effort from the actual like maximum characters. I haven't used them yet. But yeah, I'm, I'm waiting until I do all of them and then get uh, like I do a video of just those. So let's jump in here into the supplies and take a look at. I'm going to use that. To get these counts up. Right. So we got our ultimate gifts. So of course, um, these are going to be. Ultimate tokens for characters, Thor. Did I just get another one for opening the one that I just opened? Weird. Ghost Rider. Iron Fist. Angela. Hulk. Colossus. Black Panther. Another Thor. And Iceman? And how did I end up with two Ghost Rider? I thought I had two Thors. Oh, it must have been Ghost Rider that I dropped onto. Alright, fair enough. Well, that's not too bad. Um, those ultimate character tokens are going to get dropped into storage. And we'll move on. And two. And Ghost Rider. I don't think I've ever gotten Ghost Rider as an ultimate token before. So uh, that's kind of surprising. But those are all going to stack on top of each other, hopefully. And that should be fine. So like I said, uh, the next things that are going to be coming up here on the channel are probably going to be for the new boxes that are going to be filling into this space right here to replace the Marvel Mighty Women's one. Um, the next costumes, actually I'm going to check to see is there anything in the costumes that I need to... because I'm trying to figure out what the rotation is. You know, because of the change of this, change of the um, the boxes are coming, there will be a change in the rotation of characters that are going to be in the Marvel's Essence store to buy as well. So if I go and check the costume list and make sure I already have all the ones I need to grab from it, Things like the American Dream, which uh, I already have. Uh, classic Miss Marvel, yeah, I already have. Uh, I'm trying to think—is there anything that's actually off the top of my head, property rare? Let's 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 go up the top and see what the rare ones listed are. All right, so there's ones in there that have actually been there the entire time. I'll check the rotation, pull the ones that I might not have already, and uh, make sure I've bought them up before they actually rotate out for the new boxes, and then we'll be doing a Norbox very, very soon for the Defenders box as soon as it goes live. Uh, hopefully, I, I won't make the mistake that I did this time, or the last time, where I actually run out of space. I actually will make sure I have space set aside to, <laughs> to record and have my thoughts and opinions on the costumes and the designs of them. And uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to actually doing more stuff on Marvel Heroes Omega. I enjoy the game uh, enough that actually... Uh, it's <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna max out all my characters, and if they keep on if they keep on making enough characters and patching stuff stuff in regularly enough, then I'll I, I won't let it go. I won't stop playing it. It's a uh, it's just it's got it's got its hooks into me now at this point. So yeah, Marvel Heroes Omega 25 Mar Mighty Woman box loot boxes for the last day of them. If you want to get them, they're available. The drop rate in the end up was 12 costumes to 25 boxes with a number of ultimate gift icon or ultimate gifts for random characters, a stack of five, these are all standard things, stack of five unbranded ultimate gifts that you can just use on any character, and a uh, number of kind of boosts as well, I think it was three experience boosts, three or two small experience boosts, two combinations, one, two uh, shield supply drops, a shitload of crappy chests, a fucking ridiculous amount of matrix of unbinding, and we'll actually just kind of forget about the rest because they're all mats and materials. But yeah, the drops were pretty good this time. Uh, maybe it's because of it being the last day. If you want to get the ones that are worthwhile, there was a lot of regular costumes to get there, and uh, out of the uh, not a single cosmic drop in that particular spatch. But it was a really nice drop nonetheless. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you actually enjoyed this, make sure to hit the subscribe button up there. Uh, because you'll be see, able to see more videos like this on the channel. And also comment underneath and talk about it. Talk about Marvel Heroes Omega. Tell me what you think about the drop rates and the bullshit that's actually involved in them. I'm not a big fan of microtransactions. If you want to go back and look at a previous video where I talk about it. Um, I had a bit of a Bollywick. Uh, it, it was in, it, it, because it's in my Bollywick of material that I write on the channel. I actually had a, a series of opinions on the Shadows of War kind of debacle as well. 
Um, if you don't like doing the subscribe thing, by the way, uh, don't worry about it. You don't have to subscribe. Just remember the name, Pastiche of Skin. If you can find me, you'll be able to see me. It's not that difficult. Just type in the name, Pastiche of Skin. Uh, I Literally, I hope my SEO is of a well enough quality that you can find me whenever you feel like it. So just type in the, way, type in the name and I will be right there because I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape, or form. And if you're watching this on YouTube, there we go. Buttons will pop up there that say subscribe. Up here will be a playlist mostly related to this. Over the far side will be the most recent video on my channel. And right here, right here, there will be a box for you based on the YouTube analytics and all the things that you watch on this channel and on every channel that you watch on YouTube. It'll pick a video based on your taste and I highly recommend you watch this one because it'll more than likely be of your interest if you've been watching this video. So thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.